We are just about four miles off the shore of Lake Erie at Bill Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. A few moments ago, to the delight of this Buffalo crowd, it was the Bills racing out of the tunnel as they get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Back out here come the Buffalo Bills, and week one, Charles, the Bills expected to defeat the Jets at home, and they did just that, 27 to 17. And, you know, Josh Allen was really pretty good in the opener. His first game over 300 yards, and the first for Buffalo since Tyrod Taylor did that way back in 2016. And that's something you know Josh Allen continues to work on in his NFL career offseason during the season throwing the football being accurate with the ball because we know he can throw it downfield big arm can he make all the key throws that they need and be on target when he does so if he does that Buffalo's going to be very difficult to deal with and that defense continues to show up and continues to get better this is a good football team they'll have a heck of a battle in the east with New England I believe how about their schedule though partner on the road for three of their next four at Miami then they host the Rams before going to Las Vegas and Tennessee. Things don't get easier for the Bills in the early going. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. From the gun, it's Allen. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. Miko Hardman, pro bowler last year as a rookie, is deep for KC. Good coverage there, holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And the football going back over to Kansas City. And for the Chiefs, you know, we obviously haven't had a repeat champion in the NFL, Charles, in 16 years. But now there was nothing in Casey's performance in week one in that win over Houston to think that they're not the favorites right now to repeat. A very convincing 34-20 victory on the Thursday night opener. What do you think their chances are, realistically? It seems like a lot of people like them to repeat. What do you think, CD? I thought they were good before. I think they're excellent now because we saw a team that took care of business in the offseason, came out ready to play. Patrick Mahomes was 24-32, 211 yards, three touchdown passes, and showed off all the different arm angles we're used to seeing from Patrick Mahomes. And how about Tyreek Hill? He was spectacular in that game. And the first-round pick, running back Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, he got the start and went well over 100 yards. I give them a great chance to repeat for this reason. Their defense is even better than it was at the end of last year. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that to his running back, Edwards Hilaire. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. 13 yards remaining on second down. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. 
And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, but they've only got it back to third and 10. It's a gain of the big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. The Bills send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. the gun it's Mahomes looking for Kelsey on the deep ball and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down and that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it hugging it to your body and absorbing the hit even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact so they'll come up after the incompletion for second down now a throw for the All-Pro, Kelsey is complete. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. I know it's a little bit of a cliche to talk about all the tight ends who are really wide receivers in the NFL, but Travis Kelsey fits that perfectly. He led all tight ends last season with over 1,200 yards receiving, fourth in the NFL. I think he's one of the gold standards in the league for the tight end position, and I don't know if anyone has any more fun playing the game than Travis Kelsey. And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This will be a critical call. Here now Roberts. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. I remember sitting in special teams meetings, and at some point during the meeting, the coach would always say, you better treat this one just like you're playing offense or defense. It's a big part of the game, and we just saw evidence of why right there with that fumble. Yeah, fumble on the punt, and after it was turning out to be a pretty decent return. Yeah, a really nice return. They were going to be set up. Open. And he's taken down a chief sack. The big money man, Chris Jones, getting in there to bring him to the ground. Chris Jones is truly a force, and it doesn't matter what uniform he's going to have on. If he's on that side of the ball, you better double and triple team him. In 2018, the first player in NFL history to have a sack in 11 straight games. And while he didn't play all 16 in 2019, still had nine sacks on the season. That was an absolute beast during the playoffs. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down.
The Bills send the punter out as he'll come on to kick this one away. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Chiefs offense set to go. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. A pass there over the middle to start things out. A gain of six there on first. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. The false start hurts him there a bit. Backs him up to second and nine. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He'll find Clyde edwards alaire And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play, first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. They'll run for the first time with Clyde edwards alaire and they'll get him down here at about the 42. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And for Clyde edwards alaire no breaking him in gently in his NFL debut. Folks wondered if guys like Darwin Thompson and Daryl Williams might factor in a bit more, but not week one. 25 carries, 138 yards, and a touchdown in Clyde edwards alaires Chiefs debut. Mahomes firing complete, and he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. On second and 11 now. Mahomes, he's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Clyde Edwards-Alaire, 40 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And yeah, the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. Harrison, Harrison Bunker, Bunker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. Makes the score Chiefs 7 Bills nothing. Harrison Butker. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Andre Roberts 
Buffalo set to get the football back here. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. You're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. First, that'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Allen now on first down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Seven yards on the play, and it's a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. On the give, this is Singletary. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 27. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. What I enjoyed most about watching Devin Singletary as a rookie, and he had a nice campaign, 775 yards on the ground and a rushing average in the top five in the league last year, is that what I saw in college transferred to the NFL. Continued to make the first tackler miss, whether he's in the hole or on the perimeter. I expect him to get to 1,000 yards rushing this season. And down inside the 15 he goes. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Bills nothing. Nine-yard line, second and six. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Oh, nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. The Bills on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and six. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Like a freight train there, Derek Nottie with a sack. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end, and that's exactly what he did. The kick by pass is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different it? feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken in the end zone. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. 
On play action, it's Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. Here's second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Looking for Hill again. This time it's complete. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Tyreek Hill certainly makes the front office look good when they spend a fifth-round pick on a guy. Then in his first four seasons, four Pro Bowl nominations. Anytime he touches the football, he's a threat to take it the distance. Hard to get on the ground one-on-one -on -one in the open field. If you miss, in the blink of an eye, he's putting six on the board. Complete. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. Full start, backs him up five, first and 15. And again, it's Mahomes. That's caught, it's Demarcus Robinson. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll make it a second down. It's second and eight at the 41-yard line. seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. He'll find his running back, Edwards Alaire. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. Well, sometimes despite the best planning, the defense actually has a plan as well. And they blanketed everyone on that play. They were able to close it down and spill it for a loss. On third and long, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. Here's Tommy Townsend now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The Here's the Buffalo the offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. So we got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. The ball carrier. A gain of three, second down. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. 
He rifles one that's intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Butker on for the PAT. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Makes the score. Chiefs, 14. Bills, 3. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Buffalo set to get the football back here. 30-yard line. to the Bills now with a first and 10 right at the 30. Singletary to get the drive started. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. The third-year defensive tackle out of Florida State, Derek Nadi, with a nice play there. Started every game for Kansas City during their Super Bowl run a season ago. The Bills on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and 5. From the gun. Allen. He may try and run for this. He's got... And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Devin Singletary. 65 yards. And the Bills draw a bit closer. I think the key to that play was them understanding and knowing that once the ball was out, they were still eligible to pick it up and carry it. Yeah, there was some standing and some staring on the wrong side of the football there, wasn't there? Yes, he has a name, he has a number, but for us, he's Johnny on the spot. And how about that rambling run all the way to the end zone with that alert play that he just made? So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. 
Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer. Create space for our runners. And let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second and five. Second down and five. Throwing now is Mahomes. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that's going to bring up a third down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Now Mahomes. And quickly to Kelsey. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Here's Edwards Hilaire. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Not the kind of gain that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards-Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Throwing on second and eight, Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. And it's third down. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. That is caught at the seven-yard line. A yeah, great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Clyde edwards Lair with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that, and it wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Andre Roberts now to return it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And here come the Bills. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 right at the 30. He'll set up the throw from the gun. Quick slant to Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. John Brown with the reception. What a year he had in 2019. Had his first 1,000-yard season since 2015. And had the most catches in his career as well with 72. A very dangerous target, both downfield and in the short areas where you can make the catch and make people miss. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. The Bills on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third down and 12. He can run for it, and he will. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Allen. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. Now Allen. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Three yards the game there, second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. To throw again on second down. Allen buying time to his left. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Third down. try and throw on third down toward the end zone but that's going to wind up incomplete as his old brain remembers when i see five wide receivers on the field as a defender i know the ball's coming out hot they expected it and got there and popped it free and for the second time tonight this field goal unit comes out here from the left hand should be a fairly easy one here the kick by bass is good and that'll make this an eight-point game. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this carries into the end zone. They have bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That's who is running back, Edwards Alaire. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. And now here comes Kansas City. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Throwing again on second down, Mahomes. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. So touchdowns on their first two drives, but looking like that won't be the case here. Yeah, it looks like someone put their dupes up a little bit, doesn't it? Maybe decided to finally make a stand because those first two drives, they got run over. Now, finally, got their feet under them, got a little bit of balance. They're getting off the field. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. They'll score down a 36-yard punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. At their own 40 Back onto the field now comes the Bills' offense. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, and this one caught by Beasley. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. down and they're going to throw with Allen. Throwing for his running back and he's got him complete. It's a gain of nine yards and it'll be second and about a yard. A gain of nine brings up second and now a timeout signal for and they'll get it with ten seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash, this from 53. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, 
about two out of three, and this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over, and it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach fielded near the back of the end zone. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Got a man open, it's Ricky Seals-Jones. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Now despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. One yard officially on the pickup, and it'll leave him with a third and 11. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Throwing his Mahomes on third. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Here's the Chiefs punter now. As he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. 35 yards that time on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Their defense just came up with a stop right out of the locker room. And now can the offense take advantage? Yeah, we don't want to turn this into something that it's not. It's only a one-score game, so it's not exactly a crucial possession. But at the same time, they'd like to get things started and at least come away with three points. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. And now it's second down. All right, this gives us a chance, Charles, to go back to your playoff predictions. We covered the AFC. What do you see happening in the NFC? All right, let's go with the division winners. Dallas in the east, Green Bay in the north. Let's see, New Orleans in the south and out west, San Francisco. Wild cards, I think two are coming out, come from out west. Arizona and Seattle. And the third wild card, I think it's gonna come from the south and Tampa Bay gets in. Now, I don't believe Tampa Bay's going to the Super Bowl. I think New Orleans and Seattle will slug it out for the Super Bowl champs and I'm going with New Orleans to find their way in. Okay, so you got the veteran breeze against Lamar Jackson in the Super Bowl, and who ultimately do you have winning that one, CD? Oh, yeah, the old head in the 
the kid, right? I'm going with the kid in this one. In a Super Bowl classic, Baltimore wins the championship. All right, just so I go on record, I mentioned I'll take the Chiefs, and I'm going to take them over the Packers. So I think we'll have another young and old QB mix. Packers, a little bit of a surprise getting in there, and I'll take Mahomes with a repeat title. I love it. A rematch of Super Bowl one, which was called the NFL-AFL championship game. Actually, the world championship game when they played it back in 1967. Similar to a shooter in basketball, just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And his throw is incomplete. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. Brings up third down and ten. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Allen to throw once more. And he finds Beasley complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. And I believe that that gain on third and long changes things quite a bit because this would be a very long field goal. I wouldn't be surprised to see him go for it here. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Thought they might throw the football with a little chunk that they had remaining on fourth down, but they ran it. They got it. And the reason they were able to get it done, he ran that play with conviction, didn't he? Understood he would get a little bit of help from his friends up front, but it was really on him to go ahead and make the power move and get it done, and that he did. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Tyron Matthew there to make the tackle. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Now on second and 13, Allen, and his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Devin Singletary there, and that takes us from second to third down. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Flushed out right. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. A 48-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. And that'll get the lead down to five. He's got nine points on field goals now. He's made three of them. That gets him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And for him, it's not his concern, right? He just goes out there when they call on him and goes ahead and puts points up on the board. But the offense has got to get together and figure out what's stalling their drives so they have to keep calling on him.
Tyler Bass. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. KC's offense ready to take over. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. And they couldn't get anything going there out of the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. That's complete to Robinson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Four. And it's third down. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. We'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. The Bills going to take over again on offense. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with the kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Running lanes read a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Throwing now is Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And there's a catch there by Stephon Diggs. And he is dangerous whether you throw the ball to him short or you target him downfield for the big plays. Average nearly 18 yards per catch. That ranked fourth in the league last season. He is elusive and tough to get down on the ground when he's in the open field. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And John Brown's got it complete. 12 yards there and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Snap comes at one, and it's Allen. He'll buy some time right. He'll run it. First down and more for Allen. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard game. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. 
escaping the pressure right. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. To throw, it's Allen. That'll be taken in by Beasley. Touchdown, Buffalo. Four yards on the touchdown grab, and the Bills have taken the lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And that is caught for the two points. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, and that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage, at least give your team a fighting chance. Touchdown Bass to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Watkins, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. Let's step into a different topic here for a second, Charles. You think about all the action that happened on Sunday, week one in the NFL, but Saturday was an important day for a number of players around the league as well. In fact, we might even have a new holiday, call it Extension Day. A number of contracts. Can we make it into a movie? <laughs> Can we do that? Can we make it into a movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fine by me. Uh, a number of contracts that were crucial were extended, and really it started with Dalvin Cook, five years at $63 million. That was a big one for the Vikings. Yeah, it was, and it's huge for Dalvin Cook because there was a school of thought that maybe they wouldn't do it because of Alexander Madison's presence, but they're going with their big guy. How about that? Just a few minutes later, Alvin Kamara, he re up with the Saints, five years, $75 million. Love that one. A great move for New Orleans. Even better for Alvin Kamara. Yeah, good to be a running back. And then switching it to wide receiver, Cooper Cup with the Rams. What was his, like, three years? Almost $50 million, I think, $48 million to be precise. Yeah, he did very, very well. And I love the way that he runs routes. And he gives the Rams a great presence downfield. And how about Demario Davis? We got away from the skill position, guys. A linebacker, one of the top ones in the league. He re-upped in a big way. Three good years for him added to his contract in New Orleans. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Back at the 38-yard line. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Back now in Buffalo. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. 
And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on to kick it away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. At their own seven well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. Allen now on first down. He finds his target, John Brown. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. they got to go thank the guys on D. They'll give this to Singletary running right, and they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try to move forward. Allen's throw is complete. Seven yards, the pick up there. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Operating from the gun. Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. Good catch there by Stephon Diggs. And no one happier in Buffalo than quarterback Josh Allen, who was looking for that big target downfield. The guy who can go up and take the ball away from defenders and turn it into big plays. On play action, Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 19 yards there on the catch and run. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. On first down, Allen dancing to his left. Now he'll pull it down. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. He certainly had plenty of success running the ball, and right now I'm getting the sense that he's looking to take off and run every time he steps back to throw it. But they did a nice job there collapsing on him and holding him to a short game. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Here's Singletary. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And that one not going to have enough height on it. Down around his feet, it's incomplete. It's now fourth down. The Bills send the punter out as he's on here to punt it away. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 26. 
He'll throw from the gun. Flush to his right. He'll try and run it. That would have broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That is incomplete. Well, those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game. That time, unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. Doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. They had enough yards for the first down, but a clutch hit right there defensively. Jars it free. No first down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go. It's Edwards Alaire. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Allen and the Bills now with a first and ten on their side of midfield at the 47. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. I remember a coach told me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against him offensively. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It's a first down following a gain of three. Hasn't had his best game running the football here tonight, but hey, that's a critical spot right there to convert on third down, and he did it. And the lights are shining just a little bit brighter right now, aren't they? You remember the beginning of the game? If he gets this first down, everybody's happy. That's cool. But here, that was critical, and it really energizes him. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. He's going to take off with it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Not only another first down, that also puts him over 100 yards rushing. That's not something you see very often in the NFL. We see it more in college. But I think with more of the melding of the college game with quarterbacks, we'll see this a little bit more often in the future. On first down, Singletary. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 
Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there, and on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing, in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. You give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Second and seven. Second down and seven. they'll throw with Allen. They'll roll him out, and he will score! Touchdown, Buffalo! Josh Allen, his second touchdown of the night, and the Bills will add on to their lead. And yes, Josh Allen finds the end zone again. That's something he's done ever since he's been a rookie in this league. He had eight touchdowns rushing that season. Nine, which led all quarterbacks in 2019. He's one of those players that even if they don't call a design quarterback run, he doesn't mind scrambling around, tucking the ball, and using his legs and his bulk to find the end zone. Touchdown pass to kick it away. Here's Nicole Hardman. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Now Edwards Alaire. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. But plays like that, Charles, no doubt, they're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about, and that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. 
First down now, but that clock rolling. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Jordan Poyer. Mahomes pass. Intercepted. The Bills take over. First They'll start on the ground with Moss. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. it to the tight end Knox the Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down and not totally home free yet but it's looking good as they come up first and ten the Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Buffalo.